Welcome back guys. Tonight we're going to start kind of where we left off, pulling all these injection lines off. And then I think we might pull the head with the injectors in just for now. So just looking at this here on the return side that comes off the top of the injectors, that just runs down the side of the block and it just drops on the ground. There is no return to tank. I did get all these lines broke loose with the line wrench, come back with just a three quarter open end wrench and get them the rest of the way off. So next I'll pull that drain tube or return tube at that 90 and then I think I'll pull the rest off the injectors there. Alright, I was able to get that line loose in there and try and get it, get it snaked out of in between the block there and the pinion drive. All right, so now we'll pull the lines on top of the injectors here. Just them returns, and then we'll start on head bolts. So my initial plan of trying to get these nuts out was leaving these injector hold downs in. Um, it's just not gonna work right now. I need to be able to get to these with the breaker bar and with the socket I have here, I'm gonna have to pull those out. So, as you can see, I got number one out, and sometimes the studs are coming with, but all these back ones, it looks like studs will stay. We'll get them hold downs off. They are a little stiff right now. We'll give them a tap with a hammer, and they should come right off. We'll keep going. All right, with the other side bolts removed, we'll move on to getting all these off. These are all loose. She's the impact of taking the rest of the way. But one thing I did notice is this pony motor exhaust is gonna have to come off before we lift the head up. There's just not clearance there to slide up the studs. Or at least I don't think there is and I'm not gonna find out. We'll just pull the exhaust that way I know we have room. So all I have here is a impact 15 16 swivel. We're removing these nuts. All right, all the head bolts or studs, nuts, whatever you want to call them, they are off. I did have another stud pull out in the back, not a big deal. Let's work on getting that pony motor manifold off of there. Well, that was a fight that I didn't record on camera, but I was able to get one, two, 
three and four nuts off of the manifold. I did have to pull the carburetor and that line is already broke so that just kind of pulled back out of the way and then just to get a little more room down in there I did end up pulling what I believe to be as a breather or like an oil separator and I tried removing this whole housing but I just can't get it past these control levers or the control rods so it did stay but I was able to get on top of that manifold nut there and the nut there so we'll go ahead and pull that manifold now there now I know I have the clearance I need to clear with the head here so let's get a lift set up so we can pull this head off all right guys we got the hoist in place and the cherry picker what I did here was just stack up the head bolts onto the rocker cover or rocker pedestal studs and then I ran one to each side and with this engine leveler I can just even it out one way or the other so we'll keep going and see what we find well I do have to apologize guys I did not get really any footage of the head coming up I was really fighting this this engine hoist here uh, like I said, with no heat in the shop, that cylinder just did not want to move. I finally did get it to go, but give you kind of a sneak peek of what we're looking at here. We'll get the head out of the way and I'll bring you back and show you again here. All right, head is out of the way. We're looking at number four here. Number three. Number two. And number one. I'm confused as to what this is if because it looks like we have different style pistons in here these have a almost a different form more of a kind of a swirl design later design unless that's just build up let me see here no so never mind that is all build up let's see it kind of comes out of there and there's number one. So for sure, I would say pistons and liners on all four. And we'll keep going on the teardown. Give you a better look at the bottom of the head. So we're looking at number four here. You can see that would be an intake valve that's open. Over here, both valves are closed, both valves are closed, and it looks like that would be an exhaust valve just, if you can see it, it's just barely cracked open. Well guys, I appreciate everyone watching. We'll keep this going.